Hello, assalamu alaikum. My name is Amal Abuweed and I'm an author. Today I'll be reading a book called My Muslim Mate, written by me and illustrated by Samira Abuweed. Let's begin. My Muslim Mate. G'day, I'm Charlie. This is my best mate Khalid. We were born on the same day at the same hospital and we live on the same street. How awesome is that? Every morning, Khalid and I ride our scooters to school together. We talk about lots of cool things like dinosaurs and football. Khalid also talks a lot about his family and his religion. All of Khalid's grandparents were born in Lebanon, but his mum and dad were born in Australia, just like my parents. Khalid and his family are Muslims. They follow a religion called Islam. Khalid's mum wears a headscarf called a hijab, just like mine. Muslim women wear this as an expression of faith and modesty. Sometimes she wears a black and yellow hijab to support our local footy club. Khalid's dad expresses his faith by growing his beard, just like Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Khaled said the beard tickles his face when his dad kisses him. Muslims believe in and love all of God's prophets, such as Adam, Abraham, Jesus, Moses and Muhammad. They live all around the world and greet each other with Assalamu Alaikum, which means peace be unto you. The response is Wa Alaikum Assalam, meaning and peace be unto you. Khaled says there is so much to learn about Islam. He said the five most important things are number one, belief in one God and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which is the Shahada. Number two is the prayer, which is Salah. Number three is charity, called Zakat. Four is fasting, which is Psalm. And number five is pilgrimage to Mecca, which is Hajj. You can see all the different kinds of Muslims over here and over here come from all around the world. Carla told me Muslims pray five times every day. Sometimes Carla and his dad go to the local mosque to pray with other Muslims. A mosque is a place of worship for Muslims, just like a church for Christians or a synagogue for Jewish people. On Saturdays before footy training, Carl and his brother Adam go to the mosque to learn Arabic. He says he needs to learn Arabic so he can read the Quran, a sacred book for Muslims. Are you learning another language too? Every year, Muslims fast 30 days during a special month called Ramadan. Carla told me grown ups don't eat or drink anything from very early in the morning until the sun goes down in the evening. Khalid doesn't fast because he is still young. Muslims break their fast on sweet dates and water, then eat a delicious dinner and dessert. Here they are at the dinner table. Khalid's dad said fasting during Ramadan teaches Muslims to be patient and reminds them to be thankful for all the wonderful things they have. Last year, Khaled's grandparents went overseas for their pilgrimage in Mecca, called Hajj. Khaled said they prayed a lot there and saw an important building called the Kaaba. Muslims at Hajj perform many rituals which allow them to feel closer and more connected to God. There's the Kaaba. Zakat is donations offered to the poor and less fortunate people of society. It must be paid yearly by adult Muslims. Khaled's parents said it helps people buy food and new clothes. Zakat also reminds Muslims to care for and think about others who are in need of help and support. Every year, Muslims celebrate two important days called Eid al-Fatr and Eid al-Adha. Khaled calls them Little Eid and Big Eid. 
On Eid days, Khaled and Adam wear their best clothes and go to the mosque in the morning for their Eid prayer. They visit their family and friends and receive lots of presents and money. Carla's mum gives my family a plate of delicious sweets. On Eid day, my favourite is a biscuit filled with crushed walnuts and dusted with icing sugar called mamul. Carl and his family are wonderful friends and awesome neighbours. We go to the park together, have dinners together, and we watch the football grand final together every year. Carl and I are the same in so many ways, but what makes things fun is our differences. I love hearing about Carl's culture, his religion, and about his big family Eid celebrations. And he loves hearing about my family's Christmas barbecues, the Easter bunny and Easter eggs, and my nana's delicious Lannington cakes. Yummy! My Muslim mate Khalid taught me a lot about Islam. He shared his story with me, and I shared it with you. Can you tell me your story too? And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.